11 a.m. August 20th. It's a Sunday morning, and I'm gonna start my day off by going on the bike ride. I'm starting to do these more because I like to get some uh, nice pictures and videos of the scenery, so I can look back at this footage in the winter. I'm gonna be taking my wide-angle lens. I just have to clean it off because if I put it on, very very foggy. That's better. Alright, I'll be back in like 10 minutes. My mission is to get a long enough time lapse before kids come because lots of little kids like to come on this playground with their family and I don't really want to stare at them. Next uh, time lapse spot is going to be right here. About the uh, time lapses, I think I have enough. They're not the quickest, they're not the fastest, but I can always speed them up at 9 feet. Time to head home. So let's uh, plan out the rest of my day. So, right now is eat. Eat lunch. Two o'clock is food shop. Three o'clock is eat more. Um, whatever I get from the grocery store, I'm gonna just eat that. Skateboard for about an hour. So, I, uh, I'm back from eating, and it's time to go skateboard. I also want to get a haircut later this, um, later this week, maybe like Tuesday or Wednesday. Got a cup before school starts, so I don't have like messy hair. I want to start off fresh when school starts, have um, a haircut.
I'm gonna go over my skate trick to list that I made up. This is basically all, oh, er, so um yeah. So this is basically a list that I made up of uh let's see one two three four five six seven seven, seven tricks I want to learn by 2018 skateboard tricks. Yeah, I really want to get these down, and I feel like if I do, I'll be satisfied with myself. I'll feel better about myself. I'll be. I'll feel accomplished. So let's go over the list. So we have a shove it. This is a simple trick for most people, some people. Um, it's a very basic trick. It's the uh, it's easier than a shove it. I mean, not shove it. It's, a shove it is easier than a pop shove it. It's basically the um. The practice step to an actual pop shove it next up is back sound with these these ones may be a little bit harder next up is the ollie off the box and we need off the box and I, th I say that the box is the same thing as a two stair i think it is i'm gonna count it as that and um it's basically the same box and a two stair so yeah ollie and we need you over it I've all in my box tons of times. However, I only did it at Christian's house. I really think it's his driveway. My driveway is my driveway is a little bit off. Um kinda goes like downhill. It's kinda weird. And I'm gonna take it from the box to the two stair. Uh next up is longer manuals. Those are easy. Um just have, you have to have lots of balance. Um, 50 50 stall. I was doing those before. I can get out of them really, really easily. I just can't really get into them. I have to work on those. And finally, you're not finally, um, Ollie Far slash Ollie Gaps. I actually just Ollied the uh, pothole today. And by the way, about the 50 50 stall, I sort of did it. I just didn't fully lock in, but I, I did Ollie on to it. And last but not least is dropping in on a quarter pipe or a half pipe. This is the biggest step. I need this for, I need this for my Instagram part. I've dropped in on two mini ramps at Colony Skate Park. And I felt like if I keep doing those, keep dropping in on those, um, and if I commit on the one at the Fanwood Skate Park, which is what I want to drop in on, that I might drop in on the quarter pipe. Hopefully I do, and hopefully... Um, when I do it, it'll look good. Yeah, this is this explains this list. Seven tricks by the end of the year. Then I will feel fully 